In 1923, Louis de Broglie proposed that electrons do not only act as particles, but they also act as waves. Now, it was later shown that other subatomic particles, such as protons and neutrons, also behave as waves. In fact, the wave-particle duality concept was extended to ordinary macroscopic objects. So with that in mind, let's find the wavelength of a 0.057 kilogram tennis ball that is traveling with a velocity of 120 kilometers an hour. So basically, to find the wavelength, we have to use the equation that was proposed by Louis de Broglie. And this equation is known as the de Broglie wavelength. So lambda is equal to h divided by p, where h is Planck's constant, and p is the momentum of our ordinary macroscopic object which is basically equal to m multiplied by v. Now let's first take our velocity and convert that from kilometers an hour to meters per second. So we multiply 120 by 1000 and divide by 3600 and we get a velocity of about 33.3 .3 meters per second. So we plug in H, our Planck's constant, we plug in our mass of 0.057 kilograms, and we plug in our velocity. So we multiply, divide, and we get a wavelength that is equal to about 3.5 times 10 to the negative 34 meters. So notice that this is a very small quantity. In fact, it's so small that we cannot actually measure or detect it using any type of instrument. And because of the small size of the wavelength of ordinary macroscopic objects, the wave properties of macroscopic objects go undetected.